This is not a plant. It is not a hybrid. It is an animal that borrows the machinery of photosynthesis. Costasiella kuroshimae is a tiny marine sea slug. It lives in shallow tropical waters across Japan, the Philippines, and Indonesia. Despite its soft, leaf-like appearance, it is a fully formed gastropod animal. It measures just five to 10 millimeters in length. Its body is lined with leaf-shaped structures called serrata. These increase surface area for respiration. They also house branches of the digestive system. Two dark eyes detect light. Two sensory rhinophores sample chemicals in the water. When Costasiella feeds, it eats green algae from the genus of Rhinvillia. Instead of fully digesting the algae, it selectively sequesters chloroplasts. This process is called kleptoplasty. The stolen chloroplasts remain intact inside the slug's own cells. They continue functioning for days to weeks. These chloroplasts use sunlight to produce sugars. This provides supplemental energy to the animal. This does not replace feeding entirely, but it allows the slug to survive longer during food scarcity. The animal itself does not possess plant genes. It is borrowing cellular machinery, not becoming a plant. Photosynthesis is normally restricted to plants, algae, and bacteria. Costasiella kuroshimae is one of the very few known animals capable of maintaining functional chloroplasts inside its tissues. This challenges traditional boundaries between plant and animal metabolism. The slug's ability to tolerate and protect foreign organelles has made it a model organism for studying cellular integration, symbiosis, and organelle stability. Its biology provides insight into how complex cells may have evolved in the distant past. Costasiella kuroshimai does not break the laws of biology. It reveals how flexible they truly are. An animal, powered briefly by sunlight,